Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the NZXT Tempest 210 crafted mid-tower case. It is a high airflow case designed for gamers on a budget and you can see what it looks like in there in the preview box cover front and to the side there is a list of specifications but uh, it might be hard to read with the FedEx uh, plastic in there so let's actually move to the box and uh, there's a little bit more information here. Uh, you can see the uh, master mesh styling for improved cooling and optimal airflow. It includes uh, a 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter fan with a total of up to eight fans, including uh, with an adjustable 120 millimeter side fan. And you have the uh, mounting options for your screwless five and a quarter inch and 3.5 inch hard drive base. And you also have, of course, USB 3.0 and for uh, for the front uh, I/O. And you also have cable management options. Of course, that is uh, just some of the features, so that's uh, better than listening and talking about it. Let's uh, open up the box and see what it looks like actually on the uh, SXE Tempest 210 itself. Alright, so we have removed the outer packaging and we can clearly see that the NZXT Tempest 210 is designed for high airflow because of these large honeycomb mesh in the front all the way to the top you can see the uh, five and a quarter inch drive base have these large uh, honeycomb mesh as well and uh, also more fan mounting options here in the side and you might not be able to see it right now but uh, there's more options in the top and uh, you're behind it as well but uh, the difference of course between the other NZXT uh, 210K which is the NZXT Source 210 which is a little bit more reserved this is aimed at a, a gaming more of the gaming segment and uh, for, that's why there has a high airflow design and currently is available for $54.99 in new egg so that should be uh, around the price which is uh, currently I think the source is $49.99 so it's a little bit higher about five dollars higher uh, on, in general so you probably find those uh, if you're if you not the more you're not more into the reserved styling of the source 210 you would probably prefer something like the NZXT Tempest 210 so let's take a closer look at some of the features here in the front you can see a single USB 2.0 port and a single USB 3.0 port as well as audio ports for your headphone and your microphone. And here in the right of it you can see a power button and a reset button. It's a little bit small right below that. There's also these LEDs on the top. We don't see, we don't know what color they are yet. Uh, we'll see it later once we've uh, assembled our system in our component installation section and uh, see what those LED colors are. Also right directly below them you can see the uh, there's three five and a quarter inch external drive bay covers and these are the same design basically the same concept as the if you've seen the NZXT uh, H2 uh, uh, the Tempest 210 and uh, rather the uh, Source 210 and the Phantom uh, 410 which also has these uh, very convenient uh, drive bay cover you just it basically slide it out of uh, slide it to the le left side to unlock it just goes out position that way, so it's very easy to uh, remove the driver cover. You don't actually need to remove the entire front bay, uh, which is what typical from typical other other cases. That's what they do. You have to remove the entire front bay cover in order to install a five and a quarter inch driveway. So it is that convenient whenever you're uh, you need to access that. Also, you can uh, here in the front. Uh, there's also let's see what's behind that, and you can you can just easily pull that out from the bottom and. Uh, of course there's dust filters since it has a very large uh, airflow holes in the front and also they have also dust filters for the drive bay covers and right behind that see there are two um, 120 millimeter fans it can be uh, fan options there's no uh, fans pre-installed yet uh, but uh, you can add more into these fan, uh, these areas you can also route cables here on the front for that so it's uh, back the front cover and take a look at the side here in the side you can see that there are um, it doesn't look too much like a mounting hole for your 120 millimeter fan but it actually is you can have uh, there you, you can slide it around and you can move it around so let's actually open up the case uh, there are used thumb screws here in the side although of course, since it came directly from the factory, you probably use, want to use a screwdriver just to loosen it up. 
uh, first just use machines to uh, drill it in place. So another convenient thing is that uh, it's pretty much standard now in cases is that you have these uh, convenient handles on the side so you can just easily pull it out. That's what it looks like. And inside of course you have the accessory package tied up in here. And before we do that, I'm going to take a look at the front panel connectors. All right, here we have uh, these four pin Molex, which has uh, a, ma a female end and a male end. And one, right, another one here, uh, which is, uh, I think, I believe these are, these two are, there you go. These are the full thing. You have a three pin uh, fan connector and a female Molex end and a male Molex end. So these are the fans, so you can just actually just connect them so that you can uh, just plug it in on one source or you can connect it using three pin fans. These are the pre-installed top and rear fans. So that's, uh, that's a flexible uh, option for you. Very convenient. And you also have the uh, 19 pin USB 3.0 header for the single USB 3.0 port in the front. You have your front panel connectors. You have your hard drive your uh, power LED, your power switch, and your reset switch. They're all um, in a single ribbon cable, so it is very convenient. Uh, they, you don't have to chase through uh, um, all individual tiny cables, and you have to, don't have to sort it. And they're all monochrome. As, as you can see, all the cables are black. That's all another attractive feature in this uh, trunk component. So it looks very, very clean. And you also have this single USB 2.0 header for the single USB 2.0 port in the front. And you have the uh, front panel audio connector. You have AC97 and HD audio on the other side as well. And of course, let's move this aside and take a look at the accessory package that is in here inside a plastic bag and uh, attached to the hard drive cages. Let's move this cable out of the way. And in here, inside, you can also find the documentation for the Tempest 210 crafted metallic case. So let's take a look at the documentation first. It's a black and white manual, so if you fold out, similar to what you will find maybe if you buy like a, something from IKEA or the furniture store, you have this uh, say exploded view of the Tempest 210, some of the features, and it actually comes in multiple languages, so it's very convenient if you're not in need of English speaker, and also. Just the uh, polarity of the connectors here in the front, and the also how quickly you have to assemble uh, some some of the components, and also a uh, breakdown of uh, the various fan options, as you can see there. And aside, here in this other baggie, we can find the accessory package. Let me just uh, take them out of the box, the, the uh, plastic cover, since it's reflecting too much light, it might be hard to see. Uh, inside is this bag of screws, which appear to be all uniform, so I'm um, getting there usable for the motherboard as well as the uh, the if you want to use screws for mounting the uh, internal components like the hard drive and the video card. So uh, here, also have two cable management ties included, and also another small package here, which has the motherboard stand of screws. There are two, four, six, eight, nine in total. And you have these, uh, this, these rubber, rubber grommets uh, for the water cooling holes. You need to, uh, I'll show you later where these goes. Uh, the uh, S210 and here as the, uh, these are actually, let me just take it out, see what different kind of screws we've got here. This is for mounting the, uh, this is basically this, an adapter so you can mount the motherboard standoffs much easier with using a screwdriver rather than a long nose or pliers and you might end up scratching your case. So this is a very good uh, little little uh, gadget uh, that's very convenient. That's uh, nice that NZXT has included that in the, even in a budget case. And you can see these uh, screws here. One, two, three, four of these. So these are most likely for your power supply. And you have four of these uh, 
these are for mounting fans so uh, they provide four fans uh, but most likely when you buy extra fans anyway they come with mounting screws so these are just four fans just just so uh, as a bonus basically and you have these tiny screws which uh, I'm not sure yet where these go so well uh, probably uh, if they don't come they're probably just extra for mounting your hardware inside so if uh, most likely your 2.5 inch, but uh, we'll see later on once we do our component installation to see where that uh, screws go. But so far that covers the accessory package and let's continue looking at the uh, features of the NZXE Tempest 210. You can see that there is a large cutout for your uh, aftermarket heatsink here on the motherboard, uh, motherboard plate in here. And you can see the motherboard hole index it's, and it is marked for a uh, uh, you can install the motherboard stand off later on for a ATX, Flex ATX, Mini, AT, mini ATX. Um, you have the Micro ATX and Mini ATX form factor motherboards. So those are all the motherboards that are compatible with the NZXT Tempest 210. And also you can see there's plenty of cable routing options. Uh, they don't have the, um, the grommeted uh, covers that are usually found in the higher end uh, model case, but uh, these these are actually a uh, very good position. So that's all you need is that the option of having a cable routing area. Also, you can see the cable routing option right here you go on the top and on the top uh, top left and top center corners. These are usually uh, important if you want to route your 8-pin power connector for your uh, motherboard for the CPU power uh, and also for routing the connectors of the fans. So that's very um, very well thought out cable routing options. Of course, you have the traditional here for the front for the 24 pin power. You have the SATA uh, shortcut here in the, on the front and also the uh, USB, the front panel connectors usually routed here on the front as well. And on here, we can see that we have uh, two fans pre installed. You have a 140 millimeter right on top and a 120 millimeter in the rear. And we've seen what connectors they use. They have a three pin, you have a female uh, Molex connector, and a uh, and a male Molex connector as well. So you have plenty of options how you want to install them. You can connect them to a, uh, maybe you can connect them to a, uh, just the motherboard header or through your, uh, uh, through the Molex, through using the Molex, connect them to a uh, fan controller. And you also have here at the bottom, you can see that there's a mounting area for 120, an extra 120 millimeter fan and a mounting area for your power supply. And you also have the ventilation mounted at the bottom so you can uh, aim the where you can mount it so that the ventilation fan is facing downward and I'm going to just uh, grab the camera here so we can take a closer look and show you the power plug mounting area and in here uh, see these little um, slides in here you can actually uh, use these uh, they they allow you they allow the NZK Tempest to tend to hold a dust filter film maybe you can uh, just make one from a uh, from an old stocking or uh, or maybe just uh, cut out uh, an old foam, maybe another uh, small perforation. You can, from an older case, you can use those to slip it in there, uh, just a sliver of it, and act as a dust cover. Also, even though the NZK Tempest 210 provides no dust covers, it provides options for installing your own uh, dust filters. And similar, similar to the one on the front, you have a uh, the for the 120 millimeter fan option on the front. There's also options to install the same uh, for your dust filler suit. That is very convenient. For the expansion slots, you can see that there are seven PCI expansion slots at the rear of the Tempest 210 case, and they are perforated for high airflow, and there's also perforation here on the side for additional um, airflow options, and the PCI slot covers are reusable, although they don't use thumb screws, so they're not completely tool-free. You have to use uh, these are use regular screws, so you have to use a screwdriver whenever you need to install a video card or uninstall a video card. NZXT provides toolless mounting options for mounting up to three five and a quarter inch drives and up to eight three and a half inch hard drives inside the NZXT Tempest 210. At the bottom of the 3.5 inch hard drive mounting area, there are four mounting holes for mounting SSD or 2.5 inch drives. But as you can see, the uh, orientation of the mounting holes is such that uh, it is you can only mount the hard drive uh, in the side to side orientation so when you do that as you can see the uh, connectors for the SSD is obscured by the hard drive cage so it is basically unusable but to be perfectly fair to NZXT they did not put uh, in the spec sheet that the NZXT Tempest 210 is capable of 
uh, installing a 2.5 inch hard drive at all. So that is not really an issue. It's not, uh, it's not SZXT's fault that it is that way. Uh, what usually happens is, just to clarify this, uh, is that um, since uh, most keys are actually manufactured in China, the uh, manufacturers, uh, rather the, these companies like NZXT and other case manufacturers, they would they contact these OEMs to produce uh, these uh, cases for them with it, based on some of their designs. So um, uh, what happens is uh, these uh, factories in China, they produce these cases and they what they do is usually they, they reuse some of the template and uh, for example, this part may, might have been a part of some other case that had an arm mounting option for the bottom, and they were to print it out and just uh, and uh, used reuse it for the NZXT Tempest 210, and uh, that's not really an issue. As you can see, I'm not uh, I'm I'm not uh, it is not uh, a common part of the uh, of NZXT, but it is just how things are usually. So. Uh, again, to be fair to NZXT, they did it. Uh, it's not they're not publicizing it. They're not touting the NZXT Tempest 210 as something that is uh, that has 2.5 inch hard drive capability. So that is a non-issue. I'm just mentioning it since it is part of a review to be as thorough as possible and show uh, try to ex show and explain everything to the uh, to your reader or the viewer. Here in the rear of the NZXT Tempest 210, you can see uh, the. There's actually an optional uh, area in here you can punch out. I'm not exactly sure what it is for, but most likely for routing a cable to the back. Maybe if you have uh, if you have one of those cables, your your motherboard doesn't have the internal USB 2.0 USB 3.0 connector, you can punch this out and route that USB 3.0 header there and use a converter and plug it into the back. But uh, as it actually provides that option for you, and more of the options here. And on the side, you have these. Um, Hole, round holes that you can punch out. Let me just demonstrate. Let me punch it out right now and what uh, they are for. Of course, uh, if you recall during the overview of the accessory package, you can see that they, uh, you recall that they included these uh, grommeted rubber covers. These are actually for your, if you want to route your uh, water cooling uh, hoses around. Basically just slide it in place. Uh, it takes a little bit of work, as you can see there. Because they're rather snug, they're not uh, completely loose. So there we go. So they're very, very firm fit. So similarly with the bottom, you can do that as well. Of course, I won't do it since uh, it takes a while. And also, you can see the, uh, as mentioned already, the PCI expansion slot covers, perforations, and the bottom-mounted power supply area. Here on the right side panel, you can see that it's uh, quite bare. That's straightforward, but uh, let's start opening up and see uh, what the back of the motherboard tray looks like. Of course, since uh, like the left side panel, we'd have to uh, loosen these screws a bit. Because although they're thumb screws, they're secured quite, uh, quite snugly from the factory, so here we go. it up. Let's see on the other side. And here you can see that the, the top and rear fans have been pre-routed with the front panel connectors. You see there's space here on the beside the hard drive cages for a storing extra cables if you're uh, if you have a uh, non-modular cable for, for example and uh, it's also there's these loops that you can use for, uh, let me see the accessory package they provide in here. You have the, uh, you have these uh, ties you can use. So basically you can use these to uh, loop it around and tie down these cables that are loose later on. They provide two, but uh, of course you can easily purchase more of these, maybe in a uh, pound store or dollar store in your, in your area. For like a buck you can probably get uh, about uh, more than two dozen of them. So. But, uh, I think we haven't covered the top yet, so let's grab the camera and let's look at the top and the bottom area of the NZXT Tempest. Here at the bottom, you can see there are um, these ventilation areas for the power supply here on the left side, and also here in the middle, an optional mounting area for the 120 millimeter intake fan. And uh, you also have four plastic feet that raise it about an inch off the ground. So you can, uh, the power supply and the intake fan can gather sufficient air. At the top, there's space for installing 
either one or two 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter exhaust fans and see here on the front there is this air in here that is uh, it's not really a caddy but uh, more of a rest area for your peripherals that need charging in one of the USB ports in the front